Hi, we're in Illustrator CS6 and we're going to combine two images into one file for week one assignment for the monochrome high key and low key version of the same design. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is make a new file. Now I know that my file is 800 pixels high by 600 pixels wide. And you can, oops, it's off screen because this is a wide computer screen and I can't shrink it in, but it's 600. Uh, wide by 800 high. So that means I have to double my image file and so I'm going to and, and then add some for extra space for border. So 6 and 6 are 1200 plus an extra 150 pixels. Uh, this one uh, 800 pixels high. This one is going to be 1000 pixels high. So that's an extra 200 pixels top and bottom to add a border so that we can type high key and low key in our name. So I'm just going to say OK and I'll title it later. So I'm going to Scroll, scan this down to 50% just so it fits into the recording window and gives us space to work. Let me just line things up here a little bit and bring my color guide in. Okay, so first thing I want to do is oh, I've got to copy my design, right? So I take my selection tool and oops, uh, you know, drag it and select the entire design and command copy or control copy, go into my new file, command V. Oh, what happened? Look at the color, okay? The color looks completely different. This is nice and vivid. This is dull. You know what happened? I forgot to check and set the document color mode because it's now CMYK color. If I switch it now, the color doesn't switch back to, C to um, RGB color. This color is CMYK color, which is formulated for printing and the color is duller than it is here, right? So I'm going to actually just delete that, command Z a couple of times, go back to where I was. Now I want to switch the document color mode to RGB and then control V or command V and paste. And notice the color is really vivid. So I'm going to place that into position. And if it's not perfect, I can adjust it after I copy my second version of the design. So I'm going to select my design, command or control copy. I mean you can drag and drop it but command paste works when you're switching back from window to window command V and I'm going to move it into position and try to line it up and you see I, I'm in one layer here so sometimes in Photoshop it'll add another layer. I'm going to move this one over a little bit. The software works differently you know from one system to the next so each one has its quirks and we have to get used to it. Notice that this seems to have moved a little bit. That, that can Oops, that can mess up the design too. When things move a little bit, they just don't look like they've they're you know in the proper position. So, okay, that's pretty close. I might have to touch that up later. Okay, <clears throat> now what I want to do is use a text box and type you know high key and low key into the design. So here's my type tool, and I'm going to. Oops. Did not want to do that. <clears throat> okay, let's see. That's pretty small, hmm? Let's see. Do I want that to be? It says 12 point. My file size is pretty big. I don't want my, my. I don't want it to be too large. I'm going to go up to 21 point. Why? Because the you know the the text shouldn't take over the design, right? So now I'm going to. Come over here. Oops. I'm just going to tab over and write low key because that's the version of my design. And then I can tab over again and put my name. Small unobtrusive font. And just space that over a little bit further. And now I have my design all set and ready to go. And I can now can go to File, Save for the Web, and I can make sure that my pixel size is adjusted, right? I don't want to change the, the um, ratio, but I do want this, the new size to be 800 pixels, or, you know, a little, a little larger is fine, but I'm just going to leave this one at 800 pixels. If I don't have my... Uh, lock locked that there I can get distortion so I want to make sure I retain the original proportions I want to make sure that I'm saving as a JPEG nothing else but a JPEG and I can name my file later 
Uh, I'm not going to do that at this moment, but it, you know, when we, we do want to name our files, we want to save it uh, last name first. It would be Coniglio J Week 1 Assignment 4 dot JPEG. So I'm going to save it, and here's, here's where I, I, I title my file. Coniglio, so N-I-G-L-I-O, J. You can put your full name. It's actually better in a new class where if you don't know everybody and the teacher doesn't know you let, yet, put your full name. Especially if there are two Josephine Cornelios or there's a Joe and a Josephine in the same class. You definitely need to write that out. And week one, A4. And these are both designed, so I, you know, high key and low key in one file, so I don't need to add anything. And then just, oops, dot JPG. And I'm going to save it to um, my proper file. I'm going to select my images file here, images and templates file that I have, and save it. And I am now done. So I have my original file saved, uh, my larger scale version. I never want to get rid of those. I want to make sure I save those in uh, my Illustrator original file format. So if I need to make revisions, I can always go back and do that later. Okay, let me know if you have any questions.